Hey everyone, I've got a, um, a really useful tool uh, for quickly creating um, a template for you to, to have a custom die and custom numbers added to whatever die shape you've made um, in Blender. I know there's a dice generator and it's very powerful and very easy to use, um, but there are some things that are a little bit more boutique that the generator is otherwise uh, uh, not super helpful for. For example, using multiple different fonts in the same die or adding um, custom shapes or anything else to the die. But in those cases, um, anyone who's made a fully custom die in Blender knows uh, it can be a bit of a uh, time suck and a uh, pain in the ass. So I found something that um, a technique that will help you do this um, very quickly and in a way that you can imminently uh, edit it, um, make it really easy for you. So I want to go over how to do that. Um, first things first, I want uh, I very much suggest you enable your uh, add mesh extra add objects add on. Um, it'll make die shapes really easy for you. So go ahead and do that. Um, for those of you who don't know, go into add-ons, uh, extra objects, and just enable it here. Good to go. From there we want to add a new object. So shift A, uh, mesh, regular solid, or excuse me, math function, and then regular solid. Uh, from there you can choose your icosahedron from this drop down. I think normally it starts out as a tetrahedron. Um, but for now I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to just copy this uh, move it over to roughly zero, um, just to make sure my um, portions are all the same and my rotation that I worked so hard for is uh, the same as here, just for to make it a little bit easier to see for this recording. Um, but uh, all of you can do the same rotation. All I've done is just uh, rotate along the x-axis, uh, grab it, hit R to rotate x after that to on the x-axis. Anyway, you get it, um, just to make things a little bit cleaner. Now, so what I want to do is add a um, font, a number, to every single die. So the first things first, I need to add a font object. I'm going to hit tab to edit it, and just put the number one for now. Uh, excuse me, enter doesn't do anything. I need to hit tab again. Um, I want to add this to every single face that we have. Right now, though, it's going to do that um, from the geometry, from the origin of this geometry, and right now it says the origin is way down here, and that's because our alignment is off. Uh, most of this is probably not going to be visible to you when you start. So, um, alignment down here in paragraph, horizontal needs to be centered, and vertical needs to be centered. So now you can see, depending on the geometry of whatever font you're using, um, it may look a little bit on. Don't worry about it right now. We can clean that up later. So cool, we've got that centered um, very roughly. I'm going to uh, uh, try and get it ready for our face. So I'm going to get it in this view and then hit S to scale and do something roughly like that. Um, if you want a different uh, font, which you probably do uh, compared to the default Blender font, you can go ahead and hit this uh, under this regular font here, hit this folder icon, and it'll take you to uh, your normal installation, like your Windows installations, um, font folders, and just like the font you want to use. No big deal there. Um, but we don't need to worry about that yet because I want to show you how you can customize this for and use these for every single die in the future. So um, now that I've picked a size that I roughly want, I'm going to um, first off apply that scale. Control A um, and then apply. I can also, in a more useful way, control that here, um, over here in this transform option, and that's going to help you right there in the future, but we'll get there. Okay, I've done that. I'm going to hide all of these. Don't need these. I've got my text. I've got my D20. Now, I'm going to click and drag, hold shift to parent to this D20. So this means that I have these properties and uh, for this D20, and this is my child. I can do all kinds of cool things with it. I want to go over to this little orange window here, uh, object properties, and hit faces. It's going to uh, add that object I have to each of these faces. Ah, that's why, sorry. Uh, it was still selected on the one. Click on the faces and it goes on each of them. 
Uh, as you can see, not super helpful right now because the size is all over the place. But if I change the scale, make it a little bit more manageable. Okay. Uh, even more helpful. Um, the rotation will be aligned to one of these edges, uh, which is really useful for our rotations because that's what we're inevitably going to want. It may not be quite the same rotation we're looking for in our normal D20, but we'll get there. Okay. Now, I have all of these ones, and right now the D20 and all of these ones are considered the same object, which is not super useful. Also not super useful is the fact that they're all 2D shapes. So, um, We'll take care of that one at a time. Uh, uh, for now, I can grab this first dude, and I, if I know the size that I want, um, I can go over here to geometry. I'm going to extrude it, I'm going to say about 2 millimeters, which means uh, this is in meters right now, I want 0 0.02. That's too much. I am bad at math. Excellent. So I've got my two millimeters here approximately. Now, uh, uh, you do want to check your scale. I can be wrong here um, because I did not check the scale of this d20, but I'm not super worried about it right now. Anywho, this can all be changed at another time. Um, I've got all of these. I don't want them all as one unit. I'm going to go over here to Object and Apply, and I want to make instances real. All of these are now real objects. Lovely. Problem though is, if I am try to edit one, I edit all of them, and that's no good. So instead, uh, I'm also going to go to select all of these little dudes, object, and relations. I want to make them single users, both their objects and all the data. So now I can go in and edit them one at a time. And even more useful, you'll notice that. I'm going to turn off the X-ray mode. Uh, I can go over here to character spacing. I can change this individually for each one. And if I don't quite like where it's lining up to, um, shift F set and uh, uh, re on the number pad, um, excuse me, shift and the number seven on your number pad aligns the camera to your uh, face your normal. It's really useful. Um, if I don't like where the orientation is, like right now, I think I go over to the left. I can change the offsite on the X and I'm going to hold shift to make it really tiny. Um, and here it's not even tiny enough. I can uh, manually type these numbers in, so this is negative point zero two. so let's try a tenth of that. Okay, that's looking better. Uh, I can also change the size as needed here. Again, I can hold shift and make that a little bit bigger or smaller. Uh, my suggestion is to start out with uh, number one, and then on the other hand, Uh, just work from there. So choose one to be your starting point. In this case, I know that if this is my one face, I need this to go up and down. And so I'm going to go R for rotate ZZ to rotate in uh, uh, according to its Z normal. Um, so like parallel to this face. And 120 gets me where I want to go. Um, da, 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 da. I don't like my offset anymore. And so I'm going to change that back. So that's where I'd like that. I can then go to the other Z and then change this to 20 and start from there. R, Z, Z, 120. And change the size here. And change the Y if I so choose. But I'm going to leave that alone. I like that where it is. I can change the spacing if they are too wide or too squished. Cool. And then I'm just going to go around to each of the rest of these until I get something that looks more like, uh, oops, close up all of these, just hide those. So it looks more like this. Now, uh, once I've got this going on, I can choose all of my texts. And I can select all of them. Goodness. 
and I can hit Control J to make them one object. At the moment, I don't want to do that for two reasons. One, they're still all font objects, and this is so that I can cho choose a uh, a size for each of them. So again, oh, excuse me, to apply to multiple different selected things. Uh, instead of hitting Enter, hit Alt Enter, and it does help if this is actually accepting like the one zero zero two Alt Enter, and they will all do the exact same thing. So I've got what I want here. Now that I like what they're doing, I can hit Control. Excuse me. I'm going to convert them all to meshes. I am fully confident what they look like. Can convert to mesh. Now these are the exact same type of model that this is. I can hit Control J to make them all one object and make my next job really easy. And that is boolean. So carve out a difference. I'm going to use fast of all of these. So now. I can see a preview if I hide this. This is what it is going to look like for all of my objects. Anyway, uh, uh, there are a lot of different cool things that you can do with this, but I'm going personally going to keep them in a constant state of being font objects so that I can come back and at any time I can say, uh, you know what, I don't like this for my next die. Uh, I'm going to change this to oh, just my regular Blender font. Cool. Or like only my odds. Those are all going to be Blender fonts, and that one's going to be a little bit more harder. Uh, uh, excuse me, harder to do with multiple selects because I got to hit Alt Enter for all of them. But anyway, you get the idea. Uh, I thought this was really cool. I love the customizability of being able to uh, change my spacing around for each individual number and to very quickly be able to do this because once you've done it once, you don't have to do it ever again. You can have an instant uh, template for each of your die. And I think that's awesome. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or uh, I'd love to see all the different ways that you've made this useful for you. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye.